Please welcome Emmy Award winner Jane Seymour. What perfume is that? Uh, Amarish. I've never heard it or no? smelled it actually yeah, or heard of nice. it. It's very nice. Thank I you. I got a question. Yeah. How do you do it? <laughs> what do you have? Six kids now? You There's look fabulous. Kids. You're doing an hour drama. How do you do it? <laughs> um, about ten things at a time. Yeah. That's the only way to do it. I, I'm having fun with it. I mean, I think there's nothing greater than having kids. I mean, you know now for yourself. It's, it's delicious. Parker. I love it's it. Delicious, it's right? The best thing. And two years old, they run really fast. Right. Right. So you just have to like run in every direction and hope there's another pair of hands following you. But I will tell you this: that when I had my son, all I would think when I would see mothers with twins is, how are they going to survive? <laughs> Never mind these septuplets. Did you see the six? Oh, six I know. That's that's ridiculous. But twins. Now we have. <laughs> it is ridiculous. But didn't it look like fun? Did you watch them? <laughs> Prime time live? No, I missed that. You missed them? I send you a tape. You're gonna have nightmares. Oh god. <laughs> How old are your boys now, the youngest? My ones? boys will be two at the end of November. See, they could play with my son. I know, we're always on the same cover of magazines together. That's you know? right, with the Look at these cutie patooties. Now, now, this is very interesting. You know, when you have twins, I mean they love each other, they kiss each other, and right. then they strangle each other, Do tear they? one another's hair out, bite. And you know, one always falls on the ground. No, they're not identical, obviously. No, they're fraternal, but they both have blue eyes and blonde hair. And you have to childproof everything double because oh of Oh my god, yes. It's unbelievable. In fact, I thought of coming up with it with a new business for the boys. Um, they could go and childproof people's houses. Once it's already been childproof, they can go into anybody's house and absolutely show you what's not working. I mean they have really? dismantled they have dismantled all the, the, the childproofing techniques we have. You know, the toilet seats, that doesn't work. The toilet sure lock? Toilet lock doesn't work. None of them work. Really? No, no. They've dismantled that. It's a favorite place to play. And then <laughs> <laughs> we have wrought iron gates. Now we have padlocks on the wrought iron gates. I mean, all those little plastic things that drive you crazy when you try and open the drawers. Right, right. They've broken all those off. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're... I don't want them hanging around with my son now that I think of it. <laughs> he hasn't figured out those plastic things. The toilet lock he can get in. You know what he does? He actually, like, if he'll open this much, he sticks his little fingers in. Yeah. That's bad. I know it's bad. Yeah. Well, but it wouldn't be good business, don't you think? I'd just send my twins in. It would. Yeah. Exactly. Now, your other kids are how old? Um, well, the next one is Sean. He's 12. Katie's 15 and a half. Jenny, who's my stepdaughter, is 17. And then my husband's son, Kaylin, is 20. So do they all help with the babies? Oh, yeah. They're they wonderful. do. Yeah. They're good with them. Yeah. Yeah. Is it tough? doing an hour drama because it's a lot of time on the set, isn't it's it? It's a lot of time on the set, but the babies come out with me, they ride horses every day. It's a great place to work. It's not a studio. We're out, you know, in the state park, so it's absolutely beautiful. Right. Yeah. And they're getting to be little actors themselves. They're on a TV commercial. Yeah, they're on the Gerber commercial. Now, how did this come about? Gerber called up and said, can your babies be Gerber babies? And I said, well, what does this require? And they said, eating Gerber food. And I said, well, guess what? The guys are already eating it. So really? I guess we don't have a problem here. Well, and they did the commercial? They did the, we did two commercials, one where they're being babies and the other one where they do the graduates, where they do you know, a little bit older, right. which of course they are a little bit older. I was a little stretch for them to play babies, but they did very well. And uh, Johnny loves his food. You know, we call him Winnie the Pooh. And when they finished, they said, cut, you don't have to eat anymore. And everyone broke for lunch. Johnny wouldn't leave. You know, the lights went out, and he's still eating. Uh, you know? He has a whole hand in the, in the jar. We have the little clip of your cute little babies on yeah. the Gerber commercial. Take a look. No one has more natural ingredients. There's nothing better for my Gerber babies. Right, boys? Shouldn't your baby be a Gerber baby? How did I manage to get them to sit on my lap at the same time without fighting one another? That was the miracle. Right. But they just did it. And I could tell they must have done something right because, you know, the client, they were all looking around the screen going, yes, yes, this is great. They just looked up. I, I never asked them to look up and, you know, nod or anything. Right. They were just listening. Do your other children have an interest in acting? Or? Um, yeah, I, sort of, not really. Sort of. You know, I, I brought you something. What'd you bring I me? You. I brought you something for Parker. Please. Now this, uh, Gerber, um, what, this is a bit of a long story, but I'll make it quick. Um, when the babies were born, we always called them this one and that one. You know, this one moves more, that one does this. And then when they were born, someone said, well, this one's you know, heavier, that one's lighter, this one's faster, that one's slower. So we right. came up with these characters called this one and that one. And my husband, James Keach, and I have written children's books that are going to be published next year by Putnam. In the meantime, the first one is called Boing, of this one and that one. And we've changed them into the cats, the cats of California. OK, wait, it's Malibu. called Boring? Boing. Boing. Oh, boing. Have you ever jumped on a bed? Does, <laughs> does Parker jump I, on the bed? He does, but I thought you said the first one no, is boring. called Boring. <laughs> I thought, that is a bad selling name. <laughs> no one 
going. Oh, so going, I got you this. Yes. I got okay. you a, we got you a sweatshirt for Parker. Thank you so much. We got one for you, and we also got him a, his own oh, overalls. Oh, the you know, cutest. This one and that one. So Let that's John and Chris. Size they are just for Yes, a well, hopefully. And, and this one's for you. They're good. That's all right. I'll wear the boy. There Don't you go. ever call it boring. Anyway, Do me a favor. <laughs> so, so go by have me record all the classic English um, nursery rhymes and all the yeah. classic you know, American nursery rhymes too. And they're putting this out in January with their food product. Do you sing at all on it? No, there's beautiful music underneath me. You don't want to hear me sing. I don't. You're not a singer. Well, I sort of sing, you but I, I'm better reciting the poems. Really, I love your yeah. accent. I could listen to you all day. Oh, well, then you can listen to that. <laughs> Quinn, what year? Uh, this is the sixth year. Yeah. And uh, it's very exciting. John Schneider's now joined our show as well. I saw uh, Joe Lando was here the other day. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. And uh, we're having a lot of fun doing the show. We've got some really great shows coming up. The one that you just saw a, a clip to is about alcoholism, obviously. Right. And um, we've got a huge epidemic coming up very soon. Lots of people die. Dr. Quinn doesn't always manage to keep everyone alive. No, really. <laughs> You're kind of jerking off there at work. You're not really uh, doing your job there. You got to get it, you know. No, don't go there, people. <laughs> you know, it's a live show, Jane. Hey, live show. <laughs> you know what I meant, didn't you? I did. I did. Ive, could you please throw to a commercial and say we'll be back with Bobby Brown? <laughs> Do it right there for me. We'll be back with Bobby Brown. Jane Seymour, ladies and gentlemen.